Today is Tuesday the 20th, 2021. I'm Keith War, and welcome to another episode of Homeless on the Space Coast. And today I'm being joined by, what is your name, ma'am? Kim. Kim. And do you go by any other name on the street? Does no. anybody? No, no nicknames or? No. Okay. And Thanks. how And how old are you, Kim? 53. 53, okay. And are you originally from Titusville or? Yes. You are? Yes, I was you adopted as a child between sisters in Titusville, but I was born in Hartford, Connecticut. But you know, to look at pictures of me as a baby, you would ever think that I would end up here doing what I'm doing? Yeah. No. And what do you mean by doing what you're doing? What do you mean by that? Getting high. Getting high. You know, getting high. I've lost everything. I've lost my family. I've lost my friends. But um, yeah, I'm from Titusville. What's uh, what's your drug of choice? What are you struggling with? Crack. Crack. That's it. When you say that's it, that's a lot. Do you do you drink? Oh yeah, I drink, but I only I only drink to. When you don't have crack, you drink, or you drink no, only drink, when you do crack. No, I only drink to, to get the monkey off my back. Okay. And and you were doing pretty good. I yeah, saw you I over the past couple days, and you yes. were trying to stay clean. And but it's hard to stay clean. You yeah. know, I've been smoking crack since I was 19 years old. I've had periods of sobriety. I've had periods of addiction. But um, it's just really hard out here. It really who, is. Who who turned you on to crack? Who who gave you your first hit of crack? I was just a boyfriend that I had when I was nineteen. Okay. I'll never forget. Was it. he older than you? No, just three years older. Okay. Yeah. So tell me about that experience. You said you'd never forget it. Never forget it. I was asleep. But I'd I'd already been around coke, right? Like snorting powder, and then um. He woke me up one night. I don't, I don't want to really talk At about age 18, you were, you, he had 19, already, or 19. 19 years old, you had already done these kinds of things? Yes. Yeah. Um, how old were you, do you think you were, when you first had like a beer or some wine or alcohol? Eight. Eight. <laughs> Each eight. How does an eight year old get alcohol? Um, they're let, they go home to a home that has nobody there when they get out of school. And that's all there is in the, in the refrigerator. So when you, when you came home from school, there wasn't anybody there to look after no. you? So this person that adopted you... She was they, working nights, so... And did she have a husband? Was there a father figure no, in the home? No, she had just got divorced from her second husband. Okay. And, and how about brothers and sisters? Did you have any of those? I have lots of brothers and sisters. You do? Yes. How, how many? I have adopted brothers that are both past, Andy and Larry Bookerell, and then I have a real sister that was put up for adoption, and then I was put up for adoption, and then my mom, my real mom kept the twins, so I have twin brothers, but only one's left. So you lived with your birth mom until you were how old? Three, mo three months. Three months, and then from three months until you were about eight, you lived with the woman until who adopted you? Yeah, until I was grown. Oh, she, until you were 18. No, oh, she yeah. raised you. And you were telling me a story too uh, that um, when you, the woman who adopted you, she had, you'd been left at her house or something with yeah. no formula, no, no diapers. No formula, no diapers. I was addicted to alcohol. They said that, they, she had told me that they used to put alcohol in my milk bottle. But um, to make me sleep so they could party on the way down the East Coast. Just this is your away. birth mom that was yeah. partying on her way oh, yeah. down. She partied her entire pregnancy. But I believe I was born with um, fetal alcohol syndrome. Fetal, like, yes. And how about your birth father? Have you ever met your birth yes. father? He died last year. He did. Okay. Yeah. But what was well? What was your relationship like with him? Did you have a relationship with him at all? Not really. No. Went to went to Massachusetts for a year just to spend time with my birth family that I had found on Facebook. And um, he was an alcoholic, and he would call me and say, "You got some friends you could hook me up with for sex?" And it was just—it was really crazy. He didn't care about me. Your own father. My own father. But uh, but I already knew that from 
Yeah. Wow. He never looked for me after she dropped me off with, with my aunt, so this is really messed up stuff. But I'm, you know, I wish I could get away from this stuff. I really do. Yeah. And I hope that anybody that hears my story change your life. Don't get to my age. Don't get to my age and be when I am because you won't make it. I'm strong. I don't know what, how I've made it this far. I don't know if it's God. I don't know. I don't know. But I hate it out here. I hate it because if I had a true mother, she would never leave me out here. You know? Yeah. I would never leave my kids out here. My kids are all grown and they're doing so amazing. How many children do you have? I have five. You, you have five children? Yes, I do. Wow, and what are their ages? It's, well, they'll all be 31, 28, 25, 22, and 18 this year. Wow. And, but they all hate me. And, and do they live here in Titusville? No. No? Are they in, even in Florida? Um, yes. Two. 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 Three. Three of them are. And do one's they... in England and one's in Tucson. England? But, um, Yes. How did how did the, how did the child get to England? I gave them up for adoption. Oh, you gave you gave them up for adoption. Yes. So they they know, but they know that you're their real birth mom. Oh yeah, it's an open adoption. Oh okay. Um, and um, were were you ever married? Oh yeah, twice. Yeah. Two crazy people. Okay. And and how many years have you been, or months, or weeks have you been on the street now? Just. On the street, street, the yes, homeless, yes, like just since this weekend. Okay, and first time ever. And before that, I've lost everything. That I've gotten this low. This is my bottom. This is my. This is it. This is it. I'm like I have no family. I have no friends, and I don't know what to do. Do you, Do you have any income? Like, what's your yeah, source get, of income? Yeah, I get I get income. Five hundred dollars a month from disability, but I've been blowing that but I mean what can you do with 500 but I could I want to make a change I really do I really do so you have health insurance then if you have social yeah, security I went, uh, yeah I went to all that have you have you ever called like circles of care or some of these other places rehab services or? they don't do anything but try to give me pills it doesn't help they don't help have you ever been to rehab pills are not gonna help me pills will not help anybody on it Drugs. They won't. Okay. What do you think you need? What would what love? Would, love. Love. Unconditional love. Somebody just come. Hey, hey, you're mine. You're my family. That's what I want. Somebody, somebody to just walk up to me and say, Hey, you belong to me. You belong to my family. What are you doing out here? I'll go with you wherever you're gonna go. I will fix you. But that's not gonna happen. It has never happened. Uh, do, you, do you feel like you ever had love in your life? No. And your children, did you raise any of your children? No. No. Honestly, no. But I didn't abuse them. I didn't take them out there with me. And you, you didn't feel like you had unconditional love from them? When's the last time you spoke to any one of them? I don't know. Do you, do you want me to try to get into contact with any of them? No. I'm just a piece of shit. Anyway, okay. Um, so, I, I want to ask you some other things about, um, have you, have you been in and out of jail? Have you uh, been arrested? Yeah, a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, and what kind of what kind of things yeah, yeah. have you been to jail or prison for? All just different things. That's not. I'm not gonna talk about that. Okay. No, all right. No, that's no, fine. No, that's no, fine. No. And and how about your health right now? I'm good. I'm good. Just my knees hurt. Just your legs knees. Legs hurt. Because you had my that major. Heart hurt. Yeah. You've had major surgery. Yeah. On your legs. What kind of injuries do you have? I have like metal rods in my legs. And how did, that, did that happen from a, a car accident or yeah, a car, work accident? Car wreck. Uh, I was in a motorcycle accident when I was 19. Car wreck when I was 28. Okay. All right. All right. We'll we'll wrap this up. But I, I really appreciate you sharing. You know you. what's going on right now in your Did life. Is anybody that can help us? Just 
get in a place. You know, somebody take care of my money. Somebody just take my money and just use and it, manage for, it rent. for you. Manage it for me. I don't have any family. So that you would like a payee. Me. You'd like somebody to be a payee. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I, I really appreciate you. And is there anything you, you need right now immediately on the street? Like, do you need any clothes? No, food? I can get clothes. I can get food. I, it's just, um, we just need a place to say I've never been this slow. I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> if, I, if I was to go out there and support my habit doing stupid shit, I would have a room, I'd have, you know, a motel room. That's not what I want to do. Okay, all right. All right. All right, you guys can friend me at K-E-I-T-H-W-O-H-R on Facebook. You can leave a comment on YouTube. I'll send me a private message. If you guys know of any resources here locally, I appreciate it. And uh, as always, maybe just as blessed as you blessed others. Thanks for watching.